I would like to congratulate engineer Joji Yabut for passing the contractors and consultants material engineer 2 accreditation held December 6 and 7, 2022. Thank you for sharing your upgrade experience. Materials Engineer Upgrade Briefing DPWA plan that ME accreditation will adopt PE accreditation process which requires experience and training. You can download DO94S 2020 PE accreditation guidelines on www.dpwh.gov.ph for your reference. Grab the opportunity to take the ME exam as soon as possible while the new ME guidelines is not yet released. Materials Engineer 2 Reviewer from actual upgrading experience of engineer Joji Yabit, held December 6 and 7, 2022. Part 1, Laboratory Test, Written and Performed, 1, Penetration Test of Asphalt Cement, 2, Fineness of Cement Using Number 200, 3, Core Thickness of Concrete, 4, Wash Loss of Fine Aggregate, Written Only. Part 2, Project Evaluation, Essay Type, 1, Retaining Wall Project, Complete the Given QCP, MTR Volume 3, 2, Evaluation of Concrete Core Strength, 3, Significance of CBR Test, What is the Standard Penetration, 4, Complete Proctor Data with Graph, 5, What are the Complete Test in RSB and What is the Meaning of Grade 60? Part 3, Panel Interviews, Panel Interviews are composed of 5 interviewers, for division chiefs and one assistant director of BRS. Here are first interviewer question. 1. Introduction. Personal question. How many years of experience as material engineer? 2. Why we do proctor test? 3. What are the data that we need in proctor test? 4. What is the best amount of water to be added in base materials? 5. When is the right time to add water in the soil in the field? 6. What is the sample required in PCCP? 7. How many set and what is the frequency of sampling in PCCP? 8. What is required flexural strength at third point loading? 9. What is needed before acceptance of the PCCP? 10. How to determine the thickness of core? 11. How many core per kilometer if two lanes is poured? 12. How many linear meter a core represent? Here are the questions from second interviewer. 1. Introduction. Personal question. 2. How to design asphalt mixture? 3. What are the tolerance of item 310? 4. What is the range of asphalt cement to dry aggregates? 5. What are the sample needed in structural and PCCP concrete? 6. What are the type of test required in the fresh concrete when delivered at site? 7. How to design concrete mix and what method? 8. How many grams of sample needed in liquid limit test? 9. How much water we need in liquid limit test? 10. How many blows in liquid limit test? 11. What are the ranges of blows in liquid limit? 12. How do you get the liquid limit from wet to dry or dry to wet and explain? 13. How do you get the liquid limit results? 14. What is the significance of liquid limit? Here are question asked by the third interviewer. 1. Introduction. Personal question. How many years of experience as materials engineer? 2. What is the required compaction of item 200? 3. Thickness of item 200 and what department order? 4. Are you familiar with Blue Book? Can you name some of the item of works in description? 5. Due to scarcity of base materials in particular area, as a materials engineer, what is your recommendation? 6. What is the cheapest and effective method in stabilizing soil? 7. If the materials are delivered at site and you found out those are not the one you tested, what will you do? 8. Give some example of item of work in Blue Book and the minimum testing requirements. 9. How many sample is required for CHB and explain the test procedure? Question from fourth interviewer. 1. Introduction. Personal question. How many years of experience as materials engineer? 2. If I am designer, as a materials engineer, before you start the work in board piling, what data you need to give me? 3. What to determine on SPT test? 4. Can you explain how to get the end value? 5. What are the standard size of tie and dowel bars in PCCP? 6. What is standard thickness of PCCP? 7. How many meters a contraction joints be placed? 8. What is required to classify the rebar into grade? Questions from 5th interviewer. 
1. Personal question like where do you work? What is your position, how long you are working as a materials engineer? 2. What is your rating when passing the materials engineer? 1. 3. Did you perform well in laboratory test? 4. If a concrete mix is delivered at site 95 minutes after mixing, what will be your recommendation? 5. What is your motivation to become materials engineer? 2. Personal observation from engineer Joji, sa part 1, bunutan, no one can really tell kung ano ibibigay at mabubunot mo but in my observation yung common at madaling i-perform ang ibinibigay. What is required? Skills in performing laboratory procedures, DPWH laboratory manual, STM and ASHTO standards. Sa part 2, project evaluation, no choices, essay type siya. What is needed? Experience in field especially DPWH projects, materials engineer 1 common questions, and laboratory procedures. Sa part 3, interview. The objective of the interviewers is to test your knowledge and skills in the laboratory and field application and your personal experience as a materials engineer. Most of them will first ask you how long you've been working as an ME, some will ask the year of your ME1 accreditation, what is required, laboratory procedures, work experience in DPWH projects is an advantage, ME1 questions, MTR, Blue Books, DOs, QC topics. If you find this video helpful and informative, please like, subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified on next uploads. Thank you and God bless.